You don't have a leg. I don't have an arm. Let's combine our powers. I would go to church if it was headed by a man on the bow of a ship. Herman Melville's James Bond's 007 in Moby Dick. Why are the capitals italicized? I feel like they should be. I can't wait for him to slip on these wet rocks and die. Ishmael does not die in the first chapter of the book, sadly. I know, he dies in League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I've seen the movie. So it was, I duly arrived at the town of New Bedford. <laughs> it's not New Bedford. Where's all the fucking billboards? Where's all the needles? Where's the laser gate? That's Fall River. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's near the... Where's the Lizzie Borden house? That's New Bedford. That's Fall River. God damn. Why are they the same town? That's Where Fall River. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just keep going. Where's Purchase Street full of prostitutes? That's New Bedford. Yeah, I know. That's where it is. So, funny story about this movie. That Why is Harvey Cattell here? <laughs> Sorry. It's just a... That's wow. just... Ha <laughs> <laughs> what a story, Mark. <laughs> Sorry, just just a redhead. Anyways. um, So, funny story about this movie in particular. When they were filming this movie in New Bedford, Massachusetts, because they did actually film it there, my grandmother met Gregory Peck. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> She's Gregory Peck. Hi, from us. A man of New Bedford. You look like a man of New Bedford. <laughs> I think I know him. Ahab. Who's Ahab? <laughs> like my boss. <laughs> Fucking got him. <laughs> well, we may have some difficulty in getting rid of it. New Bedford's overstocked. Yeah, it is. Crack addicts. People. Heroin addicts. Potholes. <laughs> yes. Dude, potholes. Holy shit, the potholes. Like so many white Bolt. I would go to church if it was headed by a man on the bow of a ship. I feel like if you're on a pirate ship in this time period and you don't have sideburns, you did it wrong. This is a regular ship. This isn't a pirate ship. You're pirating Blubber from Wales. You're pirating life from Wales. Did they not forge their weapons before they left for their journey? He might be fixing them. No, he's forging some too. Yeah, it feels like an oversight. You should have done that way before. Why are you forging on a boat? Why are you bringing the anvil and all this stupid shit when you could have just done it on land and then brought the weapons? You wouldn't need a blacksmith. Who got his boldness and majesty and grace. Did they say baldness or boldness? Because I heard bald. I heard baldness. B bold. They probably boldness. meant boldness. How often can you scrub a deck? All day. That's the only thing they've dude, done. All day long and every single crew member. Well, I mean, only one guy can be in the barrel at, at a time, you know? But literally everyone else on the ship is scrubbing the deck. Yeah, because they're waiting their turn to go use the barrel. The deck can't get that dirty. It's a, Yeah, it's there's a boat no deck. way. I mean, it can. It's, it's a salt. dirty boat. Like, the salt whole water boat's probably... Boat? Oh, yeah. there's Gregory. There's Abe Lincoln. All right. He does look like Abe Lincoln. There were as many as three 60-foot rubber white whales. Yep. Sweet. And they were, some of them were lost at sea during filming, which means <laughs> that they were filming at sea. They were. This that, is all filmed that's on That's amazing. Boats. Their main one, Moby Dick himself, was 75 feet long and weighed 12 tons and required 80 drums of compressed air and a hydraulic system in order to remain afloat and operational. They built a fucking whale for this. They built three whales. They built several whales. At least one of them they lost at sea. Whales who killed 10 times 100 men. That's like a thousand men, dude. That's not that many. For a whale? Imagine if... Oh, for a single... I thought you meant like every whale in the history Imagine of the Imagine if one whale killed a third of 9-11's people. That's one way to quantify it. Boats are fucking insane. Like, what fucking genius was just like, what if we build a giant bathtub with a shit ton of rope and some fucking curtains? And then we go out in the middle of fucking nowhere... And fuck around. And we need like 80 people to run it. Ian, in your opinion, what is the best boat movie? Ooh. Because you always go off about how boat is fun. Boat slap. And again, whaling. Who the fuck came up with this? Let's take a bunch of tiny boats out into the ocean and just fucking stab the shit out of this thing that could eat us. Let's stab the shit out of the biggest creature on earth that we know about. And just attach it to the side of the boat. I'm going to reserve best boat movie until after this. Mutiny slaps. The mutiny's amazing. That bed is a coffin. And those are winding sheets. I do not sleep. I die. Okay, we'll have a little death as a treat and then wake up and... It's a free trial to death. I came here to hunt whales, not my commander's vengeance. 
Yeah, but those overlap now. But my, my vengeance is a whale, yeah. so fuck off. I'd strike the sun if it insulted me. You probably died doing that too, dumbass. The crew stands with me, Mr. Starbuck. Now stop trying to offer them venties. Surely the best lance out of all New Bedford will not hold back from the... Dude, that's the best of all New Bedford. <laughs> that's why New Bedford's... <laughs> I strongly believe that whoever is on that boat is the best New Bedford has ever produced. That's why New Bedford sucks now. They all fucking died in a whaling accident. <laughs> Do you think the whale, after eating, Moby, uh, eating uh, Ahab, came to the island, evolved back into a human, and then became the <laughs> shitty people of New Bedford? <laughs> I'm a direct descent of Moby Dick. <laughs> We're all direct descent. So remember descent. how in the last one Ian lost talking privileges? <laughs> <laughs> Mine Jake, was you have now uh, no, out. you have now lost talking. That privileges. means all three of us cannot talk. Uh, yeah, the movie. it resets per movie, so it's just Ian and me. Imagine we did a review where all three of us just talk to ourselves and ignore anything else the other person says. I do that. I'm waiting for the review where just organically we each one at a time lose talking privileges, and then it's just silence. Hi there! You don't have a leg, I don't have an arm, let's combine our powers! What did you- how did you even come up with this double down? Like, where did it spawn from in well, your Well, I mind? wanted to watch both of the movies, and then <laughs> I picked them. He's like, uh, let me see if I can find anything. They're both- The answer is he couldn't. They're both very literary, was all I really got. It's a book cinematic universe. Uh, I love I mean, the book cinematic universe, I'm contributing to it as we speak. Yo, that's the fakest moon I've ever seen. That is an exquisite coffin for a man they're gonna bury at sea. They have an entire blacksmith. They probably have an entire coffin maker on this journey. Unnecessary careers on this boat. I really like how at nighttime it turns into black and white. Yeah, that's yeah, good. that's cool. Holy Christ! Oh my God! Large. That is a meaty boy. Sir, shall I shorten sail? No, she runs well enough. Sir, we're gonna fucking die! Sir, the boat will fly at this point. Please lower the sail. Whoa. What? What? Whoa. Movie took a turn, huh? It lights our way to the white whale! Whoa. What? Holy shit. <laughs> what so is going on? <laughs> I don't remember in the book when Captain Ahab's god. <laughs> Captain Ahab pulls out his lightsaber to fight Darth Vader. Imagine they changed the film to be more ho heroic, like a Hollywood movie, so the whale eats him, and then moments later he bursts out of the whale with a spear, like, I've conquered you! No, but he is a whale. He is a whale. And then they whale fight. Like his scar, like, glows, and he turns into a whale. There That's what is... the, the... Dude, there's magic in this movie. I don't know how or why. At the very least, God appeared. <laughs> he and did like... appear. And blessed their boat and spear. Which is funny, because he's probably going to die anyway. If I was in these boats, I'd be like, all right, l let's go back. That looks crazy good. Holy shit. Yeah, it does. We have movies now that don't look that good. Yeah. That's wild to me. I'm going to throw it an eight. I think it was really solid. It's definitely not as good as Dead Poet Society, uh, the film that is clearly uh, taking a lot of inspiration from. <laughs> For being a direct remake. Like, yep. the emotional whiplash between the two films we have watched. I, I don't even know. There's no connection. There's no connection. Respectfully, Ian, I know you wanted to watch both, but like, this, this is, is the most disconnected one. Yeah, but there's still a connection because I want there to be. That being said, this movie rocks. Yeah. I, I can't find a fault in this film. Um, I'm going to give it a nine, though. I, okay. I feel like no, that's understandable. maybe it's just because I just got fucking Dead Poet Society injected directly into my veins. Yep. But, uh, which this is not definitely not as good as the other one. No, okay. but you know, for different reasons, because these films are uncomparable because they're, they're wildly different. different. <laughs> there are different movies. I didn't, I don't want to just do movie sequel, movie dumb shit. Like, I don't want to at least try to do something. You want to try to come up with two movies that don't really. Since you already gave it your score. Yeah, that shit slapped. Uh, boat movie fun. Me like boat movie, for, especially for a 1956 film. This is better than like most of the movies that I watched last year, <laughs> like, in terms of production. When we actually got to see the whale, oh my god, dude, that shit looked good. It did. That shit looked really good. It do go down. I agree with Nine. I definitely agree with Nine, because I don't think it is perfect. There is The use of the music in the movie is very old movie, better put music in it, because we don't know what to do to fill in sound. 
Mm-hmm. That being said, like everything else, the acting. Oh my God, Gregory Peck. When I said, remember when we watched the best picture with him in it? Gentleman's Agreement. And I went, yeah, he's supposedly one of the best ever. I'm really excited. Uh, cemented. Like, he... Immediate. Like, yeah. For old school acting, what the... Wow, 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 wow. Guys, that was a banger of a double down. It we was. Two slappers. It was. I, I mean, can't wait till my next one where it's just shit. Why does porn have awards? How do you judge it? How hard do you come? I don't know, and I don't care, because I'm never going to watch it myself. What, porn or the awards? The like, awards. How would you judge? Like, what are the criteria? Best acting. <laughs> Worst acting. You know acting. what I'm going to do? Next porn awards, I'm going to watch and then watch the porns. And be like, you know what? She <laughs> was hotter. She should have won the best hot new actress or whatever. Best, best anal act. sex scene. Best anal. Not even anal sex scene. Best anal sex. Just like, did they all have sex with her and they're awarding that? <laughs> each judge does each position with each contestant. Have the judges watched all of porn? How would they even know? Because, like, the Oscars has criteria. you got to play in theaters for two weeks. And, and Is the porn in theaters? Do you think they do, like, a screening where they all jerk off? 